Equivalent fractions using visual models. Take a look at this yummy apple pie. If we cut it into eight equal pieces, then every piece will be equal to the unit fraction, one eighth. Putting together two equal pieces of the pie is the same as combining two copies of one eighth. And this would give us the fraction two eighths. How about joining together four equal pieces of the pie? Since every piece is one eighth, joining four equal pieces means combining four copies of one eighth. And this would give us four eighths. Let us put this pie as it is on one side. And now bring in a new whole apple pie fresh from the oven that is the same size as the first pie. Say we want to divide this new pie into two equal parts. What fraction represents each part? That's right, one half. Now let's have a closer look at the two pies. Do you see something interesting? We have taken four eighths of the first pie and one half of the second one. But look how the four eighths of the first pie is exactly the same size as one half of the second pie. One half of this pie and four eighths of the other represent equal amounts. It is just that this half is cut into four pieces. So we say that one half and four eighths are equivalent fractions. Similarly, these two rectangular area models are the same size, but are divided differently. The first model has three out of four equal parts shaded in green, while the second model has six out of eight equal parts shaded in blue. Both shaded regions cover the same area of the whole. So three fourths and six eighths are equivalent. The difference between them is that in each case, the model was divided differently. So the numerator and denominator of the corresponding fraction changed. In this lesson, you learned about equivalent fractions using visual models.